next, it's a lightweight fight between the Fireball Kid, Takanori Gomi, and tremendous ground and pound specialist, Joe Stevenson. Joe Daddy Stevenson, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Joe Stevenson has a ton of octagon experience. He won season two of The Ultimate Fighter as a welterweight and has since dropped down and fought at the very top level of the lightweight division. He's got excellent submissions, great wrestling, and one of the best guillotines in the business. Joe Daddy Stevenson, fired up and ready to go. Nori Gomi making his way to the world famous octagon. Gomi had huge success back in Pride. He's a great wrestler and he has one punch knockout power in both hands. If there's any hole in his game, it's his submission defense. But closing the distance to him without eating a right hand or a knee is a daunting task. Takanori Gomi ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Victorville, California, Joe Daddy Stevenson. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. The Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Joe Daddy Stevenson, Takenori Gomi. And here we go. go! When you talk about a passionate young man who wears his heart on his sleeve, it's Joe Daddy Stevenson. Yeah, he is a very passionate guy and a, a very proud family man and a happy father. Stevenson is cut open here, Mike. And now he's answered! Staying right out of harm's way. And man, again! He loves throwing that punch. Got the double underhooks. Nice body shot and then hook combination. And another left hand. Just punishing him. Oh, big kick. Under three minutes now. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice high kick. Big right hand. Oh, that right hand hurt him. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, spinning back kick. What an exchange here. Oh, big shot, oh, Joe. He stunned him, Mike. Left hook, he's down! Oh, he recovers! Oh, he's, he's back, back to his feet! This crowd is going nuts! Big right hook, and now he's gonna look for the finish! Oh! Head kick! Oh! oh. Buckled him! Oh, the that one dropped him! He's hurt! He's hurt! It's oh, over! Ugly. This fight is over! Vicious ground and pound, and the victory! Takanori Gomi wins in impressive fashion. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. 
Look at it from this angle. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi. Takenori Gomi is victorious. It's a lightweight fight between the Fireball Kid, Takanori Gomi, and tremendous ground and pound specialist, Joe Stevenson. Joe Daddy Stevenson, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Joe Stevenson has a ton of octagon experience. He won season two of The Ultimate Fighter as a welterweight and has since dropped down and fought at the very top level of the lightweight division. He's got excellent submissions, great wrestling, and one of the best guillotines in the business. Joe Daddy Stevenson, ready to throw down and put on a show. Nori Gomi making his way to the world-famous Octagon. Gomi had huge success back in Pride. He's a great wrestler, and he has one-punch knockout power in both hands. If there's any hole in his game, it's his submission defense. But closing the distance to him without eating a right hand or a knee is a daunting task. Takanori Gomi fired up and ready to go. Tale of the 
Take is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Victorville, California. Joe Daddy Stevenson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet eight inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Are you ready to fight? Joe Daddy Stevenson, Takanori Gomi. And here we on, go. Joe Stevenson, ultimate fighter winner, jiu-jitsu black belt, judo black belt, and he has some serious power in his clinching. Very good guillotine chokes and excellent leg locks as well. Oh, buckled him. Oh, big kick. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, good combination. Nice head kick. Teeing away. Oh, looping hook there. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Oh, spinning back kick. Oh, big, big head, head kick. kick. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Man, this crowd is loving it, Mike. What a fight. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Wow, that right hand. Oh, that one dropped him. Oh. Oh, he recovers. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Left hook, he's down! Oh, but he recovers. Oh, he's, he's back, back to his feet. What an exchange here. Just over a minute remains. We've seen a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Oh, beautiful hook! It is all over! That's it! Knockout victory! Wow! How good is that? Takanori Gomi wins in impressive fashion. Yeah, here we see it again, Mike. Look at the power in that left hook. I mean, perfect position, perfect technique, and the amount of torque he gets into that is just frightening. Let's see it one more time. He just nails him with that. That's a highlight reel knockout right there, Joe. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. He has no idea what just happened. I'll tell you what happened. He got knocked out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Fireball Kid, Takenori Gomi. Takenori Gomi is victorious.